The blockade at Omri has been cleared. Oh my god, I'm excited. I'm excited to get back into this, I gotta say. Because really, everything's pretty much been cleared except this one little corvette here. Omri's been freed, as I just said, and we got ourselves a brand new uh, battleship to refit us there. So, let me find my good old, uh... Let me find my good old Garlon there, so I can start getting that all set up. And we can get this big gun, big, we, ah! Let me start, let me try it again, Jesus. Then we can get started, shall we? So we'll quickly get the refit in. I don't even think I need it on the list, do I? Let me find my battleship, though. Although this could be a bit of, okay, it does move it there, although I have no idea. Where I'm going? Yeah, this may not have been the best idea. Okay. We're off to a very good start, aren't we? Alright, let me just rename this again. We'll just make it nice and easy to find, just in case I have any other isolated. Whoops. God damn. I'm off to a really good start, aren't I? I hit cancel instead of confirm, so I am. Um, mess I'm already messed up with this, let's just say. So, there, we'll refit into the Garillon. I didn't really need to actually edit out the roster, I think, so that was a bit of a mistake on my part. And let's switch this out and put back our Explorer, just in case we need for some recon work later on. Once I can find it, there we go. Alright, I have no idea how long it's going to take for the build, but considering the additional resources and the complete refit of all the weapons, it's going to take a bit. And also, I took this opportunity to kind of just tweak it a little bit further. I basically just got rid of the disruptors that were on there and replaced them with additional phasers on the front. Just wanted to point that out there quickly. It's not all that drastically different. I just quickly added those on there after a video. Because if it was going for that kind of punch, so why not just go with it further? And also, it seems like we it seems like we got ourselves a little bit of an extra change here, it seems. Alright, that was annoying. I had this little overlay covering over the map on me there. I don't think it was showing the recording, but damn it, I had the I had that kind of in my way. So we get to we have these interesting little readings of that we have to work with here for some reason. We got fuel readings, apparently, for all my ship movements. I'm not sure what exactly that means there exactly, but it is something. Oh, and I completely neglected these uh, construction ships, didn't I? I want to make them to kind of be like a sensor array, so I might as well do that. Although, how close can I get it before I piss off the fall bar there? I might as well just leave it here. With, yep, with the full 100 AU radius there, I can see everything. Well, now the question remains, what do I do with the other one in last here? Do I make another sensor ray up here? Or do I go up there? Hmm. Honestly, not sure. Oh, my territory is looking pretty l formidable, that's for sure. It's actually... It's actually bigger than the Gorz... Of course, the quarter scene to a small extent. They have it a lot more wider there, but I got. I am threatening to envelop the quarter scene right now once I take care of all this raw lay and absorb all their territory, which I think is going to be the next thing I'm going to do. I feel bad for the raw lay right now. They are gonna get their ass beat. Although, let me try and get my home world a couple more structures because I think I want to slowly transition this into a research world of sorts although yeah there's nothing else to rebuild the size was oh that's VR net I thought that was like the supercomputer for research nope my mistake and what's the other one Shemat where's Shemat it's kind of annoying I have to relearn every single plant there every time I do a brand new recording I think on top of the fact that of course it. Ah, I completely lost my train of thought. I completely lost my train of thought. We are off on a brilliant start. This is going to be a running theme for this uh, recording or this week's series of episodes. I wonder. Uh, don't think there's much else to do. 
because my fleet's basically going to clean up the mess that's here while my Garalon gets all refitted and repaired. So, what do I want to do? I'm pretty confident I can just wipe out the rest of Raleigh immediately there. We've got Titan Construction Tech on the way. And we have this human fleet to deal with. Which is respectably sizable, so I'm going to be there relatively quickly, I hope. I better be there quickly. Considering I have almost double the speed. Oh. Go figure, my Garalon's not even going to get a chance to have a break. Remember what I said about Garalon being bloodthirsty menace of the Raleigh? I think that theme is continuing. Because for some reason I'm attacking a goddamn battleship. Or battle station. I don't know why I keep saying that. Call keep calling the battle stations their battleship. Although technically they are the kind of the same category to an extent. Oh well. At least it's got anti American so let's see what kind of punch this thing can do. That thing's it's gonna wreck this battle station, I can almost guarantee it. Fire every single antimatter cannon on this thing. I just gotta rotate around. Let's see. They're supposed to do 5,000 damage each, so. At point blank, at least, so. That's gonna wreck it quickly. Yep. There was no reason to worry about it. It doesn't even break down the canopy shield. Just rotate a little bit to kind of swap around the fire a bit. Although I am kind of far away, it's not going to do that tremendous amount of damage because of the distance for both the photon torpedoes and the antimatter cans. That was simple. Nothing exciting to talk about there, but we do have a bunch of metals, which is always nice. 10% damage when in friendly territory. We get quadruple XP, which doesn't matter now, of course. 20, let's see, 20% 20 missile damage, which sadly I have no missiles, so... 20% weapon damage in general, that's always plus, and... Minus 10 damage, damage reduction. So I think I can get a boost to my beam lasers as well, with some additional metals, which... We'll get relatively soon. Just a shame I'm not going to utilize any of the missiles now, with that additional 20%. Once Garalon gets started, I just gotta get start reefing, damn it. But, I think it's safe to say this entire system's been wiped clean now. Hell, even this colony ship's being wrecked. Rockfield 2 has a university. I'm using it as a protection world, so as much as I would like. Like it is not much point. And Determined to be, I don't care about that either. Both of them are my production worlds. Wow, last belt too. Jesus. What is with all the spam? Jesus Christ. This must have been due to the, like, the patch or something that happened in between the recordings here. So what is this? They're requesting government funds to help purchase. I think that only helps with research. I do have the funds, so it's only one time thing, so I don't see why not. And Reza spells, Jesus. This is getting a little ridiculous. Although I do forget what that wormhole thing does. Oh, just plus five research a turn, so that's that's fair. I'll happily accept that. Now is it being refitted? Yes it is. It's gonna take well three hundred and forty nine resources to build. So it's not really gonna take fourteen turns, but I probably should buy because I'm making a fortune right now, actually. Jesus. I'm making 446 credits a turn. Is that due to the patch change as well? I'm not sure. I honestly don't know. And my fleet strength is still relatively high. Oh, and I'm also. Non combat ships. What's it? Oh, that's in oh, that's because of the construction ships that I have a bit. That I have here, I think. Whoops. Ah, it was a misclick. I just want the box and select everything. See if it would show me the construction ships on top of this list. Nope. It shows me a lot of troop transports, that's all. And freighters. So I'm not getting much intel on that. 
Alright, so those two fleets are going to clash there. We already know how that's going to go. So I'm not going to leave it, everyone suspense there. That's going to end quickly. And then at what point... I keep, I keep doing that. I don't even check what plan or system it is before I go building. So I can optimize it properly. So... It's not like Rhesus need anything else anyway, besides for maybe a Sino Ag intelligence agency which will be helpful. But let me keep building up this fleet, reinforce, get all the frigates back and everything. Especially since I have a cruiser here, so I'll bring that down. This other fleet can also go down there and get ready to siege the remaining worlds. Also let me find what kind of infantry I have to work with too. So it can start utilizing them. Oh, and there it goes again. It completely changed my loadout, so that's a bit of an annoyance. I'm assuming it's also due to the patch. So let's correct this, shall we? So where is my deployable shield? Rocket launcher, there we go. So that's going to be our marksman, if I remember correctly. Well, actually, it's a rocketeer. Marksman is with the smart link. Oop, that was a horrible misspelling. So there's our rocketeer. Now let's get our infantry. At least might as well get them all set up as much as we can. Rifle, deployable shield, and a smart link. And there will be our marksman. Hopefully this does not get wiped again. Jeez. This is going well. I already said that enough times already, so I'm going to try and stop. It's, yeah, it's becoming a habit, I'm sure, of repeating the same line over and over again. But we got three soldiers, Mark IV here, that can easily just browse around down south. It keeps track of my... Okay. So according to this, it tells me what my fuel is at when it reaches its destination. So in that case, I'm kind of shocked how it said I was be like at zero percent when I get there. Although... I don't think my Corvette's going to be able to do much on their own, so I'm going to have to be careful. Nope. Volvar are pissed. Time to retreat this uh, Explorer. I was not paying attention. Although the Volvar are not really a threat, it's just uh, an issue when you don't actually have any weapons to use against them. So... If I understand correctly, they have hardly anything besides a lot of mass drivers, I would imagine. Because we got the bone snap, we got the raise, and we got these two frigates wound, and bone snap. So, yeah. Oh, and there's two ships with the name bone snap. Huh, how original. They already ran out of uh, different identities for the ships, I guess. Hmm? The Imperial Falvar fleet is pretty abysmal, I gotta say. Those poor Valvar, they're gonna get wiped out pretty soon too. I might conquer the rest of the worlds after I grab the rest of the Raleigh. Then I'm gonna have like massive ter territory in two regions of this galaxy. Okay, Rhesus 3, I don't think I want another planetary world on that either, even though that is probably the top, the the swamp plant, I believe, and Mockery 1. So I'm getting a bunch of research boosts there, although none of them are really my research worlds. Yeah, because Rhesus 3, yeah, it's a medium baron. That probably could have been useful. Oh, well, I still get a boost of some sort. They're just not infesting the other resources or the, the maintenance for it. So where's my Garalon? There you are. Time for you to go wreak havoc. While I get ready to siege this uh, plan over here. Oh, actually, yeah. Do they actually have that world? It, it is. It looks like it's white anyway. So I'm assuming they have it. But although they're poor, small worlds, I might as well grab them because they're gonna give me two free tech in the process. So can't argue with that, can we now? So, and I got plenty of freighters, so let's start moving them out. Get this fleet moving to these systems here and start conquering them. And where's the fleet up here? 
There it is. There is no battle station, so I might as well just straight up engage them. Oh wait, that's a dumb idea. Because if I remember what happened last time, they attacked the battle station that was there. And flew right past me, then I attacked them, so... I might as well have them defending that asteroid belt. Since they're heading that way regardless. So I don't get this stupid situation where my fleet just completely dodges them again. So let me correct these subspace con projectors because they seem a little bit off angle. Oh, and that is bad. Sure. That was a bad angle in general. There we go. That should help a little bit and it go puts us straight through there. And if that was true, it says it takes one turn. That would be kind of nice, wouldn't it, if it took a single turn to do. And what do we have here? Oh, they're trying... Are they trying to colonize that world or what? No, they already colonized it. There's just nothing there. Besides for maybe a station. Alright. The fleets have engaged. We do actually have a starbase there I didn't realize about. And there's a crap ton of frigates. On the plus side, I got Hercules Beetles, I got Hornets, and I think I still have a drone carrier that hasn't been refitted or retired just yet, so this should work out well. I don't think I have any fan sprayers and only one frigate. Yeah, this is not going to go well. I got enough canopy shields for everyone, and we have our savior Kular as well. So there's always that to join the fray. Do I want to move any of the Beetles, though? To kind of use them as a buffer. Because I think I'll wait for them this time. While I get, get set up. If it, if it turns out to have too many railguns or mass drivers, then I'll just go in for the kill. Because I got my own weaponry to unleash on them. So, let the fun begin, shall we? Yeah, I still got two drone carriers and they immediately start lagging up. Not to mention the fact that I have cluster cans that they're utilizing against me, so go figure. So I blame the cluster cans for the slowdown, damn it. Although thankfully it's only the frigates, so it's, they're gonna die relatively quickly. So I'll give power engines that one there. Actually, let me get these damn fighters attacking, because it doesn't seem like they're doing a damn thing. So let me do that and get these carriers out of the way because I don't want them to be an easy kill. And once some of these uh, corvettes start dying or frigates, then we'll have then we'll have our frame rate back. I think I'm starting to regret giving the human fleet the flat cans because I believe I given it to them on on the basis that I did not believe they would actually utilize it. Clearly. I was completely wrong. And I might as well change these Hercules Beetles fire pattern because they're going way too wide. And I might as well get these carrier sh drone ships to get moving as well. It is a respectably sized fleet though, but I am not concerned at all. My Hercules Beetles took them worse damage than this. Although I am trying to find my the status of my fighters, though. I have no easy way... Okay. We only lost like a handful from this one here. Save your coolers taking damage. Nothing a little bit of a shield boost can't fix. And the savior just lost this canopy shield, so we're going to have to get that evasive maneuvers going. And it has photon torpedoes and a bunch of for me. And my fighters are also utilizing the new favors, phaser tech, so that's going to be those. It's kind of a shame that those. I have to retire the carrier ships, damn it. Because that would do a lot of damage to the corvettes and smaller ships that they were meant to kind of fight off. Especially with the heavy bombers. So that is sad that I couldn't get to do that. Although. I think it's safe to say the slowdown was more from the cluster cannons there, than, more so than the actual fighters themselves. At least in that battle. But we already did see what a mass of fighters can do. And is it going to respond on me? Come on, work! 
Work, damn you. Okay. Yeah. That took a couple minutes there for some reason. I'm not sure why it took so long, but... So long as it doesn't crash, that's all I ask. That is all I want. So that way... We can keep this campaign going. We don't get this awkward situation where I get this premonition of where if I were to restart again, I would have this premonition of what was going to happen. That would be no fun for anyone. Especially me.